I'm Ravi Tangri, and this is the Meh to Yeah Profile Show. My guest today is Crystal Crawford, and I had the pleasure of taking a few uh, online programs from Crystal recently. And one of the things she shared in terms of what, what she's discovered is uh, it, it was quite striking in one of the programs she shared um, tax returns a couple of years apart, and they had increased by a factor easily of 10. I don't know what we think. It's like we think that our boat will come in, our ship will come in, or the windfall will land at some point, and then it's at that point that we'll have choice. But what I've discovered over and over and over and over and over in the last four years, without fail, 100% success rate, is that the choice to create something or the choice to have something in your life is what creates the money showing up. Is what And the money showing up then... But the money shows up because I become more in the process to make that thing happen that then creates more money that then makes that thing happen that then I become more. So it's like it's this very wild thing that works that we're taught backwards. (laughs) And so that that was really the impetus was was the big choice. Well, let's dive into this a bit because this was one of the big ahas I got from the programs that I took with you that, you know, we've all got our stories. You've got yours, I've got mine, and we've all spent time healing the past that supposedly holds us back. And one of the biggest ahas from you is that that's not even relevant. It's right now, You, what do you choose? 10 seconds from now, you choose again. Ten se- so whatever happened in the past our stories, our justification for why is not even relevant, right? It's, it's what do you choose right now? Yeah. And sometimes to get to the place where you know you have choice, you have to like destroy and uncreate everything in the past that you think is holding you back. So it's not that I don't get that because I've had to do a lot of that. But it is what what choices do you have available to you right now is the place to function from like what choices do i actually have available to me right now because i spent a lot of my life a lot most of it so far um feeling like i had no choice so i'd already chosen to marry this man so i had no choice i'd already chosen to get into we had a, my first marriage we owned a pizzeria so i'd already chosen to own the pizzeria so i had no choice um i never had kids so i didn't have that as a no choice point but you know, we, we got ourselves into a foster care position with an organization. So I had no choice. I mean, like it was, you're taught, we're taught that we make these big life decisions and then our choice stops. We have limited choice. We have a limited menu. So now that we're married, we have married choices. And now that we have business owners, we have business owner choices instead of total choice all the time, no matter what. Um, I think what a lot of us do is we don't, we negate and we don't acknowledge the amount of capacity we have for creation because we use all of our capacity most of the time to keep our daily lives running and to keep our jobs running smooth and to keep our kids taken care of. But we have this enormous creative capacity that we use for things that don't allow us to acknowledge it. And that level, it's like putting, um, you know, a, a gifted kid in I don't even know, like a a gifted eighth grade kid in a first grade class when you don't choose big enough. You're bored. You have no, there's nothing there to challenge you. There's nothing there. So you just would rather die than do first grade activities, right? Um, So that's the thing that I'm always talking to people about is like, okay, do you even care about creating this thing that, and every single time when they're not creating it, it's a no, I don't care. It's not interesting. It's the thing that I thought I should create, you know. So that's my question always is like, what would inspire you? What could you choose that would actually inspire you to create it? So that's profound. I mean, that, that people just don't dream big enough. And, and it's like we've, we've drunk the Kool-Aid of mediocrity in our society. Yeah. It's not even a big enough choice to like pay off your debt. Like I, I get that from a lot of people like, well, as soon as I've paid this off, then I'll choose but you never will because you don't care. You've already used the money anyway. You think you should care about paying it off because that would be the good person thing to do. But that's not even enough. 